the Bushcat is an aircraft I've been interested in for quite a while, so I finally decided it was time to go get checked out to fly it. Not that much rudder input required from both sides. Some guys do report that they feel a lot more rudder input is needed, but I think seeing as you've got so much tailwheel experience, you're used to applying rudders. Pop that power all the way, pull a little bit further back. There we go. Drive with those feet, drive with those feet. And since the manufacturer of the Bushcat, Skyreach, is a South African company, I was eager to go check out the factory at Springs Airfield. So all of this is basically one full aircraft, am I right? That's a complete aircraft, obviously minus firewall forward, so no engine, no instrumentation. The other option is a kit build where you can build yourself. It's a fun project, it's easy. 250 hours, no special skills, no special equipment or machinery needed. That will be covered in part two of this series. In this episode, I do my familiarization training on the Bushcat, and I chose Johannesburg Flying Academy, based at Panorama Airfield, to do the training with. It was a bit of a gloomy day, but the weather improved enough for us to do the training. Clip up. And the wind. A little bit from um, the side, so I'm just going to put a little bit of aileron in. Is that full travel? That's it. Look, it's a big aileron, I mean, if you want to drop it your side, you look at the surface area. Okay, yeah. It's a, it's a very big rectangular aileron. This cockpit is very spacious compared to the Bush Baby. 100%, huh? It's like all the bars, everything is, you know, you can move your head most ways and you're sort of okay. I don't think the forward visibility is as good as what the Bush Baby says. So down this little corner is better, yeah, but right in the middle down. it's it's not down. So what speed you as per so uh, PH here are you going to expecting to get airborne? So I'm going to write that at about 55 miles per hour. And then another last one that I always like to give is the one third rule on the runway. So let's quickly line her up just to give you a quick uh, look here. I mean, we're visual pilots, right? I mean, we don't we haven't got calculations on exactly how much runway length, but we should have a rough idea on ourselves on where is this plane going to get airborne by. So we, if you were to look at this runway now, uh, zero two, what visual cue could we use where we think we should be airborne by? So um, the, the windsock uh, definitely need to be airborne by the windsock, so that's the uh, that's more or less in line with, I think, a cross runway. Yeah, so it's like the one third rule. So by a third of the runway, you should at least have half your rotation speed or more. If not, let's do an abort and reassess and go, well, hang on, why aren't we at that half? Because then you've got two thirds of a runway to abort. So you're always safe, good safety margins. Absolutely. So, Alright, cool. I'm happy whenever you are, so if you're happy, I'm just going to follow with you on the bottom, but it's all yours. Power and us alive. Full power. Who's piece alive? There's the tail. There she comes. 45. Okay, flight speed. 45. Nicely done. Okay, there we are at our best rate of climb after takeoff checks, brakes pressure, undercarriage is up and lock, uh, throttle pitch and mixture, set for climb, okay, landing light off, then you see I turn fuel pump off immediately. Well, you can leave it, there's no rush. And then flaps up. Hey, fair. That's a, it's a little bit of an awkward stretch across, but once you get used to that, it becomes a lot easier. Right, and then we can turn up. Hey firm, clear right, centre left, good look out for today for the Viz. Right, right, clean. And there's the track we spoke about, I don't know if you can see the model field yet. See the track, I can see the model okay, field. Okay, so just have a good look out, I don't see any cars, any persons at the blocks, so it's fine to continue over. Alright, and I'm going to come back on the power a little bit. Yeah, sure. I'm going to have to do sort of lower circuits today, just because of the visibility. Panorama traffic, can you Victor, left downward runway 02 Panorama. Fuel pump on. Thanks. Nine and right on. Flaps, uh, flat speed is 80, 83. Yep, miles per hour, 83. There we okay, go. Okay, so we go then. Cool, I can start turning. Left side clear, right side clear. Right side clear. Panorama traffic, can you Victor, turning left base runway 20 Panorama, touch and go. Are you going to do a wheeler or three-pointer? What are you going? Let's do a three-pointer first. Three-pointer first, then go for the landing on the 25-degree flap. Okay, full flaps. Hey, firm. Left side clean. Right side clean. 
Panorama traffic, India Navic, South Island approach, runway 02, Panorama, touch and go. Uh, our finals feel we are still sufficient and happy. Okay, and full flaps. Cool, we've got that, we want to be about 60, between 56 and 60. Uh, okay, would you say the nose is straight now? Uh, you are slightly to the left. It's quite an interesting aircraft to get that referencing for straight down. All right. Slight wind from right to left as well for us. Well, I think I'm lined up now. Yep, you are centre line. A little bit fast. Drop that part all the way, pull a little bit further back. There we go. Drive with those feet, drive with those feet. Okay. Nicely done. I'm going to go flap 17 for you. Okay. Set. Full power. I've got full power. Nicely done. Okay. You see that wobble on the wheels? Right. Yeah. On the brakes, that will stop that for you. All right, after Tech Six brakes pressure on the cage is up and lock, throttle pitch and mixture set for climb. Do you probably have on landing lights off? Yeah, don't be in a uh, don't be in a rush to turn that fuel pump off, you know. Um, yeah, especially there's no options here. There's no options. Uh, you know, the, the lifeline of that fuel pump is quite long. As long as your pressure is good, leave it. Okay. Yeah. Copy. We can leave it on the whole circuit if we wish now on this one. Okay. Um, me personally, I'd rather change a fuel pump because it might have run out of time than uh, turning off and losing an aircraft in an engine. No, nice, you know, you can just feel, I think it's the friction on the throttle where you could feel you, you pulled. Uh, I mean, if you would have landed, no problem how you had it. Uh, just something to have a look at for to then have it cut all the way. You can feel on uh, that uh, ailerons how sort of heavier she is compared to most. Absolutely, um, feel it. So why are you here on the downward? Let's try, do a nice orbit all the way around. You can get a nice feel for it and see how she comes out after the turn. Yeah, to the, to the right or the left. Oh, okay, let's do one to the, to the right. That's it. Not that much rudder input required from both sides. Okay. Some, some guys do report that they feel a lot more rudder input is needed, but I think seeing as you've got so much tailwheel experience, you're used to applying rudders. You know, I think guys that uh, don't fly much on rudders, like 172 drivers and slings, they oh, a lot of rudder input needed. But she is quite harmonious between the two, yeah, okay. as you can see. Feel it, yeah. Then whip her out halfway to one to the left. Okay, still got the field. Nice. All right, what, uh, another three pointer. There's the traffic squirrel coming to our right. Okay, cool flaps. All right, there's the approach speed we want. Very much high. You can side slip her for a little while, get a nice little feel if you'd like for that. Let's do that. There we go, now you've got it settled. It's just drifting a little bit to the left there, but... Might went from right to left as well, but uh, down the southern side it's nice and calm. Nicely felt, sir. Uh, 17, you've got... Drive, drive, drive. Go for full power. So often that shutter is coming from on the takeoff roll. There's a little bit too much forward pressure on your stick. Okay, too so much. You, so you're squatting the airplane down, and then when we get airborne, that squat is being released, that energy releases, and then she shakes. Okay. Ah, oh, that was a very nice one. Nicely felt, nicely corrected as well. Beautiful. Cool. Right, we're going to try a wheeler. Yeah, let's try a wheeler. So do you do that with the takeoff lap? Ah, uh, you can do it with all full, full flaps as well. well. She manages no problem. Right. So first one, if you want, you can try a takeoff lap. We are in flap speed. Oh, 
the pumps on, then the light on. Oh, that's actually still good. Watch the bill at all. We're still very fast. Right, I'm going to bring it out. Nicely done, lever 17, and here we go. Nicely done. Okay, not so much down for a board stick now. Oh, well, that's hot. There you go, and you see it. Not better. That's up. Nicely done. Up to you, left or right hand circuit. We can keep it nice and low, keep it nice and tight. Alright, let's do another right hand Yeah, so no more than 5,300 foot for the climb. 5,300, okay. Yeah. And this one, let's do a flap 17 wheeler. Left or right wheel first, and then I want you to transition on to the other wheel. For us, hold it there for us. Alright. Remember the wind is coming a little bit from the right, so it might be a little bit tricky, but... Uh, no, the right side's going to be easy. The yeah, it's strange. So, we, so we've got quite a crosswind on the northern sector of the field, but the southern sector of the windsock is lip. So the wind is swirling right here by the field a little bit. We're a little bit lower this time, so... Not chopping as much power. All right, the wheeler, and then uh, from one wheel... One wheel to the other. And here, Eric, the final approach, runway 02, panorama, touch and go. Alright, let's go to the left first. There we go. The right one on, now let's pop over to the left. That wind's gonna not help. No, it doesn't help. There we go, she's on. Ah, let's go around. Right. Now you can keep the right nicely because of the crosswind that was from there, which is lovely. I'm happy with that. You've got directional control. Alright, what you want to feel? I just want you to feel uh, a, um, a glide from her. Uh, Alright. So what we'll do, take her up to around 6,000. Uh, either on the left or the right and downwind and then we will simulate a forced landing. But she flies very nice. It's just, it's just the, the main thing to me is that aileron is very heavy like you said. Yeah. Which maybe is almost twitchy. So it, it does make for a very stable platform. Just something to get used to. Okay, temps, pressures, we happy with fuel. We have sufficient for this exercise. Alright, let's uh, reduce power to idle now. Go to the glide speed. Okay. And let's have a look at what's in. You can trim it nicely for there. Have a look at field, see where we can get to. So she doesn't plummet, plummet out the sky, but you can see the rate of descent. It is quite high. 750 about. Yeah, so I'm not going to fly too far away. Otherwise, I'm not going to make it. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I'm just going to judge it as I as I think. If I... Hey, you know, Victor, left base, uh, runway 02, panorama. Okay, right, so I'm definitely going to make it, so I'm going to take, landing, uh, take a flap, yep. get that speed. Keep some energy for yourself when you're at the runway, so... Okay. Put the flare and hold off. There we go. Okay. Hey, remember the road tax obviously idling now 2,000, so he's re producing a little bit of residual thrust. So uh, a forced deck stick with a prop standing still would be slightly different to this. Slightly, yes. Okay, I'm going to slip this side, sorry. Problem. Check that airspeed. Well, Look how nicely she falls, huh? I do have a bit, let's pick up a bit of speed. Yeah, oh, let's. There we go. There. Keep that energy. There. Okay, oh, uh, right, what do I do? Up to you, I'm happy. I'm finished with you, sir. Yeah, I'm happy as well. Yeah. So, remove that flap. Are you happy with it? You like it? I like it, yeah, she flies oh. very nicely, uh, easier than I thought it would be. Can I understand why so many people enjoy flying them? Lots of space, lots of headroom, oh, good this cockpit is just so huge. That's uh, oh, a nicely flown man, absolute pleasure flying with you. Thank you, uh, we're, we're flying with you as well. Oh, uh, oh, the hard, the, all the hard stuff now, it's all the paperwork. <laughs> yeah, then, that comes the difficult part. Yeah. <laughs>
a huge shout out to Johannesburg Flying Academy for indulging me in making a video of my conversion training. Do check them out for anything from ab initio, private pilot training, right through to tailwheel endorsements and everything in between. Also be sure to keep a lookout for the next video where I show a bit of the Skyridge factory at Springs Airfield, South Africa.